Desperation growing in Gaza City. Tens of thousands who were sheltering in the grounds of the largest hospital there are moving south as Israeli forces close in. They are searching for safety after reports of airstrikes overnight. In a statement posted online this morning, Doctors Without Borders said the attacks against Al Shifa Hospital have dramatically intensified and that staff at the hospital have reported a catastrophic situation inside. The Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry says more than 11,000 Palestinians have been killed in the five weeks of war. This all began after Hamas militants stormed southern Israel on October 7th and took 240 people hostage. At least 1,200 people have been killed in Israel. Ramy Innocencio begins our coverage in Tel Aviv. Ramy, good morning. Jeff, yes, good morning. 35 days have now passed since those horrific terror attacks on October 7th and since those hostages have been taken captive. But now Israel's military is saying that it's not only encircled Gaza City, it's also encircled three hospitals in northern Gaza. Operations at its biggest have now been suspended. According to Gaza's Ministry of Health, that's because of a fuel shortage and patients there, they are now being told to evacuate. The grounds of Gaza's Al Shifa hospital shook from a blast. Hamas claims from Israeli airstrikes, wounding and killing people in the area. Israel claims at least one was a failed Hamas rocket. Hamas is hiding behind hospitals. The Hamas Israel Defense is Forces sick. warned that Gaza's biggest hospital was a target, saying Hamas's central command lies beneath. But in this United Nations video, hundreds of women and children can be seen sheltering there. The hospital's director said we cannot evacuate Al Shifa. We have more than 600 patients who cannot be moved. Without shelter, under bombardment, the injured have fewer places for medical care. The clinic still open, massively overcrowded. This maternity wing used to deliver 10 babies a day. In the last 24 hours, they've had 45 innocents born into war. For those who can move, Israel agreed to pause fighting for several hours each day to allow safe passage south. Tens of thousands are now fleeing daily. But the bombs still fall. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying again there will be no ceasefire until all hostages are freed. They just need to hold on and, and survive. Noam Perry's father, Chaim, is one of the oldest hostages. Perry flew to Washington to plead with Congress to do more. No one 80 years old should sit uh, in Hamas tunnels. Also, all hostages should be America's first priority. And leading this international effort should be United States-led uh, effort. And Washington is raising the pressure on Israel here not to do as much as they can just to get the, uh, the hostages home, but also to make sure that uh, uh, this war ends as quickly as possible. Michelle. Okay, Ramey Innocence here. Thank you.